Okay, we're gonna go over the ring muscle up. See you, Naraj. <laughs> the ring muscle up breakdown, um, which we haven't done for a long time. So we'll go break it down, talk about things like pulse grip, um, transitions, dips, and the, and the lot. But we'll just yeah, work on getting it right and just learn the basics of it. First thing everyone needs to do is just get a bit of chalk and just chalk that outer part of your hand. Um, do it in a moment, but I'll just show you all that so you know what to do. Um, otherwise, we're going to slip out of the pulse grip and then it's not really going to work how we want it. First thing we'll do is we're going to do a bit of a ring rope. We're going to practice that pulse grip. So pulse grip position is where um, the ring sits in that kind of heel, wrist, arch area there. Um, and we're holding on to it like this. Okay? A normal position will be like that. A high hang is like that. We need to go right up so it sits in the wrist. Yeah? Point is, when we're doing a muscle up, if I go pull up like this and I go up, there's a point where I can't get over. Whereas if I can get into the pulse grip here, I'm able to pull and move through without having to change my hand position. Yeah? So it goes from a hang and then it moves to a support. Cool? So the first thing we're gonna do, get that bit of chalk on, find that pulse grip position, and we're just gonna work on some ring rows. So we're just pulling to chest, coming down, and just maintaining pulse grip. Sometimes it wants to slide out here, so we need to just fight to keep it in that position. Sweet? Go for it. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll find that it's not very comfortable. It kind of hurts a little bit. If it hurts, you're probably doing it the right way, yeah? Next, what we're gonna do is still do the ring row, and then we're just gonna just let ourselves kind of fall into that transition. So we'll be back here, pull, and then just let it rotate through, and then we sit. Go, come back, pull, and sit. The mistake that gets made is we kind of pull through and then push away. I don't want you to push. I want you to just relax, soft knees at the bottom, hands in close to your ribs. Oh, one more time. Yeah. Pull to your chest and then just sit. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, now we've worked on that, just letting ourselves fall into it. What we can do now is just squat down directly below it. We want to be directly under the rings, yeah? Um, on our toes, so we can use our legs to still assist us. Yeah, we don't want it to be heavy on the arms just yet. We get that false grip, sit low, but still fairly vertical. Don't sit back like this. Yeah, if anyone can sit back like this up there, that's like super magic, yeah? You won't be able to do that, yeah? So we're gonna be here vertical. From here, use your legs to assist you, but we're gonna pull to past our chest and then sit like we did before. Cool, back around our chest to the bottom. Pull past and through. We don't wanna to pull to our armpits and just kind of flip through. Because when we're up there, gravity's not going to let us do that, yeah? We have to stay in tight. Imagine you get to your chest, rip through, sit there. So next, we can make that a bit harder now by going to the floor here. You can go toes on top like that, that's really hard. Here, you'll get a bit more support, yeah? So we sit down, move a little bit lower now as well. You can even raise the rings a bit as well if you want to. We're sitting here like that, and we're in a hollow body, yeah? If I'm going to do this, I'm not going to be able to get over, yeah? Same with that there, I won't be able to get through because I'm out of position. So hollow body, hold that in, pull to pass my chest, and through. Cool, back through. Just like before, but less assistant um, from the legs. Last thing as well, just pay attention to where I'm looking when we do this. <sighs> but where do my eyes stay? Good, straight ahead, yeah, yeah. The error that gets made here through almost everybody, even at a high level, people go like this and then this, yeah? And you can see I'm so much lower in the ring, it's in my arm hits now, so if I'm to try to dip, it's really hard, yeah? I'm also putting myself at greater risk of falling through. Whereas if I keep my eyes forward and aim to get past my chest, I'll often catch here. Yeah, I'm still low, but I'm like secure and balanced. I'm not as likely to fall, and I'm in a nice sort of high position. Cool. So starting lower, keep your eyes forward. So your next step now, we can, we've done all that hard work to get the transition, you still want to get a dip here. Yeah? So we can do it um, easily supported, so we can fall through. You 
use our legs and jump through that dip. If you're that little bit stronger, you can do it without support, um, or you can get yourself a band out, and we can do a band and dip. Um, and just practice those. When we do a band and dip, pop knee in, lock in, so squeeze hands down and in as well. If I let my hands go wide, that's when I get into wobbles. So I push in from there, I can do my dips. Cool. We can also sub those dips if they're really hard for push ups with narrow or bench dips. Um, or you can get your rings quite low. So for me, this works quite oh, too bad. Get them nice and low where you can just control through your feet. Yeah? So the last thing we'll do now is just one or two sets of some ring dips or transition dip. Cool? That's it.